Greetings all, it's Max and we're back and uh, we're going to show off what the Body of Christ has purchased uh, for me to go out and go do what I do uh, with the stuff. We have uh, two cases of Bibles here. I'm going to put the link in the description in case you want to do that. Um, they come from the Dollar Tree. They cost a dollar a Bible and if you can actually have them shipped to a store, if you have a store near you, uh, you're just paying taxes. So it's a pretty good deal. Uh, we also got a whole bunch of gospel tracks here. We're going to go to Romans 10, which apparently people are using as a proof text for uh, Lordship Salvation, and that you need to call upon the name of the Lord. And that's a thing that you need to do in order to be saved. Again, you know, if you can't speak, um, how can you do that? But whatever, we won't, we won't worry about that. We'll just see what it says. Uh, we also got a whole bunch of gospel tracks here. And so as a young child, about 13 years old, I got what's called chick tracks. And I would read those every night of my life. And I would read those and I'd get to the end of those tracks and it'd say, Now repent and do this to be saved. And I thought, well, i got to quit sinning to get saved. So all my life I was trying to quit sinning until I was 18 years old when I heard the gospel for the very first time. Uh, we also got a whole bunch of gospel tracks here. You can't get saved if you believe what's uh, printed in the back of uh, chick tracks. I've been going through chick tracks because they have such an assortment and I've been going for such a long time that what I do is I usually include a gospel tract in the, in the Bibles. It obviously con contradicts everything else in the New Testament. If you have to confess with your mouth. And depending on the season, you know, they have ones for Valentine's Day and they have ones for um, different seasons. And I'll throw it in there and it's gonna be where John I don't know if you can see that. I always highlight John 3.16. You say, well, Chick Tracks present the gospel. Yeah, they do a little bit. But let's just put it this way. I didn't understand the gospel. I got a lot of good information from those tracks, but I didn't get saved. Because I thought that the word repent meant you had to quit sinning. So I was trying to quit sinning in order to get saved. My highlighter is a little bit dead. But I highlight John 3.16, throw my tract in there. That's why you don't have to ask for salvation. It's already there. You're not asking God to save you. You are saved. All you have to do is believe that you're saved. Uh, we also got a whole bunch of gospel tracks here. Well, obviously that means that you need to call his name out. Mm, no, it's not what it says. Romans 10, 13 is a, is a prayer of a saved man already. Uh, we also got a whole bunch gospel tracks here so that's what's going on with donations and that's where it's going a false witness shall not be unpunished and he that speaks lies shall not escape a false shall not be unpunished and he that speaketh lies shall not escape God is keeping track of every lie there is no escape Proverbs 19.5 I will tell the truth for God will punish every lie Proverbs 19.5 A false witness shall not and he that speaks lies shall not escape. A false witness shall not be unpunished. And he that speaks lies shall not escape. Proverbs 19, 5.